Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm gonna to talk about those times whenever you're speaking or you're talking in front of a group of people or sometimes maybe it's just one person and you feel that trigger. You're starting to get emotional and you find yourself all at once. Sometimes it's surprising. You start to cry or at a very minimum tear up. Your voice starts to shake. You feel yourself choking up and it feels really uncomfortable because you feel like you're losing control. So I'm gonna give you four specific actions that you can take when this happens. And stay around to the end, because at the end, I'm gonna talk about the one thing that you shouldn't do that people commonly do do whenever they are getting emotional when they speak. One action that you can take to stop crying and stop feeling emotional, and that is to simply Tilt your head back up just a little bit. You don't have to do it a lot, but just the slightest bit and look up. When you do that, it will keep the tears from flowing down your face. It'll actually keep them from pooling and therefore you will stop physically crying. I have done this numerous times and it works every time. And it's not an action that, that calls attention to myself. I just simply look up, tilt my head back, look up a little bit, and it immediately stops the tears and nobody has noticed. These next two actions are recommendations from Janine Driver, the CEO of the Body Language Institute. And what's great about them is nobody is going to see you do these because they are hidden, I can guarantee you. The first one is to press your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Nobody's going to see that, but it is going to instantly stop you from crying. You know how it works with an ice cream headache? When we ever, we have that brain freeze when we're eating ice cream and some of you have heard that you press the tongue to the roof of your mouth and it immediately makes that headache go away. Well, it works the same for shutting off tears. The next action that she recommends doing is by gently pinching the skin between your thumb and your forefinger. Gently doing that and it will reset where your brain is going and it'll, and it'll focus on what you're doing versus the tears and you will stop crying. And the fourth action, which is one that I have tried and works for me and I'm sure it will you too, and that is sometimes you just press through it. You press through that uncomfortableness. You keep talking. You let yourself get emotional. You let your voice shake. And even though it feels uncomfortable, you don't let it stop you. And as long as you keep talking, a few seconds later, you will gain composure. Now here's what you shouldn't do whenever you begin to find yourself getting emotional. Don't apologize. And yet so many people do this when they start to cry or they start to get emotional. They say, I'm sorry. And it feels like the natural thing to say because whenever we find ourselves getting emotional, we're putting ourselves out there. We're very vulnerable. According to WebMD, emotional tears make you feel vulnerable, which can strengthen relationships because crying connects people, whether it's out of grief, love or some other strong emotion. And crying may cause others to be empathetic and compassionate towards you, softening the anger or unpleasant emotion that caused the tears in the first place. So although these four actions can stop the tears, sometimes you may just need to let them flow. You may just need to get it out there and let the other person know how you really feel. If you have liked this video, I hope you will press like and I hope you will subscribe to my channel.